Hey everybody, my name is James with New Adventure Films. Have you ever tried to film yourself in a beautiful location with a drone and a wireless mic and it ends up sounding like this? As you can tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take drone hum and other noise out of your video and how to make your voice sound even better. Okay, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro 2025 Build 61 and I have two identical clips on my timeline that I recorded with a DJI Mavic 3 Cine drone and a DJI wireless microphone, then synced the audio and the video together after I added them to the timeline. I have two clips because I'm going to show you a before and after comparison. I'm going to be editing the clip right here on the right. Start by going to Windows, Workspace, Audio. On the right hand side of the screen, the Essential Sound box will appear. Here we want to select Dialog. The first thing we want to repair is the background noise by turning on Reduce Noise right here. By moving the slider to the right, it will increasingly reduce the background noise, in this case caused by the drone. Most of the time with drone noise, I'm around about an 8 with the distance of the drone being about 4 or 5 feet from me. But that may change depending on how close the drone is to you. Now when I play the video clip, it's going to sound like this. As you can tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. Okay, now the drone noise is gone, but my voice sounds a bit thin and muffled. We need to enhance my voice. To do this, simply click on the Enhance. Now my voice sounds like this. As you can tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. Okay, better, but it needs more clarity. To do this, we want to next click on Vocal Enhancer. So you slide down this till it comes to Vocal Enhancer. There are several presets here, but I want my voice to sound warmer and more personal and have less reverb. So I will select Warm Voice right there and get rid of reverb. Here is how my voice sounds now. As you could tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. Okay, now let's do a comparison. Here's before and after side by side. As you could tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. As you could tell, the drone is super loud and you can hear the humming sound in the background and we got to get rid of that. This is very distracting. We don't want to hear it. One very important note, if it is at all windy outside, you need to use a device called a dead cat on your recording device as there is no way to fix wind sound in your audio as you will see from this noise reduced clip I'm going to show you right now. But I also wanted to point out that I'm using a DJI wireless mic and the good thing about this is I also have the dead cat on it. I know, sorry cat lovers, but that's what it's called. There's this little furry thing on the top of here. And what it does is it's keeping the wind sound from also distracting in the video. So let me take this off for a minute and show you what it would sound like with, if this wasn't on. So I've got the dead cat off right now. Let's hear if we can hear some of that wind noise. Okay, as you heard from that last video clip, the audio was terrible. And that's once I took the dead cat off, it really made a big difference. Always, always use this whenever you're outside doing a video shoot because it'll save you. And I put it on even if it's not windy outside because the wind could come up in the middle of a shoot and ruin your audio. So always bring it with you. Another thing you could possibly try is moving the drone back further away from you. The drone sound will be less audible. However, if you do that, you're gonna to have to use the digital zoom on the drone. And if you do that, the quality is gonna suffer for it. So I like to have the drone up closer, knowing that I can re reduce the humming sound in post. And if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my action adventure videos or how-to videos, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching.